Hey guys, hope that you're having a fantastic day. So I thought I would actually do an energy forecast for November because um, we are creeping up into November. So let's call in some good energy. Let's call in some good people. Um, as the puppy behind me has a pig and he's squeaking it. So just ignore it. The noise okay first thing i want to do is um again set intention so we're calling in good at positive energies i have my amethyst here um working with that stone can be really helpful for grounding so for people that need a little bit of inspiration today we're going to use that stone also if you're on my youtube you would have watched my daily already we talked about how we can raise our vibration uh, bring good energy in today okay so there is a theme for November, okay? Um, page of Fire, news of an exciting new endeavor, use your originality and ingenuity, okay? So the first thing that comes up here is that you're going to find that your talents are highlighted in the month of November. So what does that mean? Well, if you are a teacher, you might find that you're broadcasting um, more information than you typically would. If you are a moon astrologer or you work with the stars, you're going to find that you're a little more accurate than you typically are. Okay, so that's really great. Um, the energy of this is creative, confident, that sort of thing. I've been discussing the energy of confidence to multiple people lately. All right, page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Okay. So the other thing that we're going to find, this is the third time this card is coming up today. So there's no um, coincidence that we're seeing it coming in threes. So you might find that there are patterns that are calling you into learning more, reading more, writing more, um, staying away from drama, staying away from gossip, really focusing on people who are educating you, um, becoming a student, things like that. So um, make sure that you're also doing things in ways that are healing and therapeutic for you if you are going to do something, all right? Okay, King of Earth, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. So opportunities and confidence are coming in strongly. So the first thing that I see is that there's energy around this male energy. Energy and energy, I say that a lot. I'm realizing my um, habits are, I say energy too much. Um, but what you might find is that you're opening up how you're to how you are feeling. So you might find that self-expression, as we were just talking about reading and writing, is coming in really strongly for the month of November. So when we're working with purple, that's telling us that we are healing. And when we're working with green, that's also telling us that we're focusing on the heart chakra. So the last two YouTube videos I um, offered using stones we're discussing the energy of healing the heart so you might want to watch those as well if you are a person who gets overwhelmed really quickly yes grounding is important but crystals might be helpful for you because we don't want to stop letting go of things or stop feeling things we just want to work with stones that are helpful for that so as i was talking about amethyst is great um i have these beautiful raw tiger's eye stones that just came in they're really cool I have Amazonite, which is a new stone that I've been working with that I also am selling um, in different sizes. This is really great for just general healing, for trauma, things like that, which brings us into Queen of Water, tender-hearted, empathetic, relationships developed to a new level. So if you've been watching my full moon reading, then you know that on the 20th, there's a lot of stuff coming up. If you watch my new moon reading, you know that there's a lot of stuff coming up around relationships as well as daily stuff that, I, that I've been offering. So yes, the heart is really important. Water is very spiritual. Water is very emotional. So we wanna be careful around November, whether we're saying too much or we're not saying enough. So make sure that when it comes to expression that you're being honest and thoughtful at the same time. So yes, I want to share how I feel, but no, I don't want to hurt other people's feelings as a result of this. So there's this calm energy that has to come in in order to be healthy with your thoughts and healthy with your uh, mindset, okay? So don't get all destructive because people are um, hurting you or people are taking this from you. You really want to work on how can I give more? How can I give back to society? 
How can I volunteer? Um, how can I be more innovative and um, find some healthy patterns that way, okay? Uh-oh, I have a puppy dog pulling a, a package apart right now. So I have to move quickly, but first thing I wanna do with this queen of water um, is do some clearings and downloads around this. Hi, Amanda. So the first thing that comes up is you can say what you would want, what you would like me to clear for you and I can do the download, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to just do what's coming up. All right. So feminine energy is coming up really strongly. You might have issues with your mother. Um, you might have issues with your father, but more uh, feminine energy is coming up where you feel like overly emotional, overly sensitive. And women sometimes have an issue with having to balance our hormones and our feelings a bit more than males do. So would you like to clear and release any trauma? or any substance abuse um, that's come up for you as a result of trauma and also any suppressing that you've done which is taking your emotions and pushing them back in instead of releasing them and let's replace that with feeling like you can start connecting to your own thoughts and your own healthy patterns of behavior so that you can ultimately help other people if the time is right for you Okay, and then you just say yes to that. Okay, and then I get strong, strong anger energy. So that's telling me that you might actually be the abuser. You might be the one that's doing this and doing that to somebody else. So look out for that because you might be taking on your own stuff and then putting it onto somebody else. And that's kind of a no-no. We don't want to um, become upset because things are happening to us and then just put it onto somebody else. So do you want to also let go of times where you've hurt other people as a result of your own issues? And let's replace that with feeling safe to become more open and expressive in ways that are helpful towards yourself and others. Okay, and then we just say yes to that in the comments. Okay, there is someone watching who is like, kind of like wanting to help themselves, but then they're stopping themselves from, from helping themselves. And this is common. I want to help myself, but mm, seems like a bit of work or I want to help myself, but I'm not sure how. And it, this seems like kind of heavy. So I think I'd rather walk away from this. And I completely relate to this. I completely understand um, what it's like to hide from your fears. To tell yourself that you're not ready yet when you are. And so just take a deeper look into that, okay? When I do these things, this is an energy forecast. We're looking into things that are going to be coming up. If it doesn't relate to you now, go and watch this in November. Go and watch this at the end of November. It will become helpful for you, as well as any other theta healing I have. You might want to connect to that, okay? So again, if you're hopping on and you have anything you would like me to clear for you, I can do that. We have King of Earth, generous, professional, successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. So the um, acceptance piece is really challenging for a lot of people. Sometimes when we're really sensitive, we're like, oh, I don't want your help. I don't want your money. I don't want your advice, whatever it is. So be careful if you're, um, I don't want to say that you think that you're better than somebody else. But just if you're not feeling 100% balanced with yourself, you might, again, start to project. So would you like to know that it's safe to open up to new people and new situations without fear? Okay. Okay. And so I'm getting that there are people who are literally watching this just that just project energy all the time. So, okay, what is projection? What is projection? I'm just gonna tell my little puppy here that he can't eat papers. No, 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 no. Okay, so what projection means is it's someone who um, doesn't want to accept help they don't want to accept responsibility they don't want to accept period so they're like 
Well, instead of me accepting this, I'm just going to shove it onto you. Okay. So they tend to do it aggressively, sometimes manipulatively. And so for people that don't know what manipulation is, as we have page of fire here, news of an exciting new endeavor. And this is telling me that you might start becoming more aware of either when you're doing this or when somebody else is doing this. And the way that we typically understand um, manipulation or projection is when we know how we feel ourselves. So the more self work you do, the more you you just know who you are, period. And we're all working on this, but the more self healing, self reflection you can do, the more clearings, the more healings you can offer to yourself, the easier it is to identify when somebody is hurting you, when somebody is purposely hurting you, when someone is not owning up to their own mistakes, when someone's being deceitful to you, they're lying, um, they're false advertising, they're being fake things like this, okay? So that's what we're being encouraged to do is start looking deeper into ourselves. And as we clear out times where we have been fake or where we have been false, you're going to, again, start to see that within other people. And you won't really, I don't want to say waste your time, but you basically won't be spending your energy on people who we'll say aren't worthy of your time. And so the difference between um, being out of balance within yourself and being kind of like, I'm not um, content with this person. It, and that's kind of like a challenging concept is when you feel like you're just content. The way that we know that we're content is basically